Greetings everybody of Comedy Games Online, and welcome to my new Let's Play of Wario Land, Super Mario Land 3. This was the very first video game I ever played. The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening was one of the first, this was the first. Let's go ahead and get a file cleared out. I'm gonna clear out this file. Let's get this show on the road! Starting off with World 1, Rice Beach. Course 1. So basic controls. A's jump. B's dash. Hold down A to jump higher, as opposed to this. Hold up and A to jump even higher. The 5, the number 5 on the bo at the bottom part of the screen, that is my lives counter. The 2 is my coins, or how many I have in the stage. The 22 is how many hearts I have, get 100, you get an extra life. And the far right number is my time. If I run out of time, then I die instantly. We just got a new form, this is Horn Warrior, who as you can see, can ground pound, he can dash further. These blocks, which normally take two hits, only takes one hit for Horn Warrior, and he can hang on to ceilings. Very handy. So let's see what's down here. Go up here because there wasn't that much. Now normally we're not supposed to get this to this area down here, but because I have Horn Wario, I can just do that. Moving forward. Grab some more money. And let's go ahead and yeah, there's hidden blocks, just be warned. Ground pound. There's nothing we can do down here yet. I'll come back to that and show it off, but it's nothing major. But we'll... That's one of the few things that you won't be able to do on your first time playing through this stage. You generally don't have to replay stages. You only have to replay this stage. It's just for a few extra things, nothing major. But we're at the end of the stage now, so... That is also demonstrating something you're gonna need to know how to do. Hold up, press B. You can make a coin worth 10 coins. And you need that to open up these doors and activate checkpoints, which we have not seen checkpoints yet. You can also use it as a projectile to hit enemies. And you can also use it... if, Or if you throw it and then pick it back up, you get your 10 coins back. Anyway, let's go and play a minigame! Alright, that's a good start. If you get a money bag, your money is doubled. If you get a weight, your money is halved. And you can do this three times each time you play it. If you feel like you've got a lot of money and you don't want to risk losing it all, you can just exit midway through. Let's try this one. It's probably gonna be a weight. Yep. And I called it, too. It's basically a game of luck. How much are you willing to risk? Alright, 72 co coins, I'll take it. You know, it's money. Money's money. Money, money, money. Now, I normally actually don't play these mini games. And I'll show you why in this stage. If you press start and press select exactly 16 times. You'll see that box will come up that's flashing. Hold A and B together, you can move it. I can adjust how many lives I have, how much money I have, how many hearts I have, and how much time I have. If I move it to the far left, I can cycle between the power-ups. But for the sake of the let's play, I am not going to use that. Which, this will be interesting actually play this, playing this game normally. I rarely, I rarely actually play this game normally, I always use that trick. Oh, well, it's not for anything too terribly major. I usually don't use it for the power-ups. I mainly use it for, oh, I can max out my money this quickly, or I can have max out my lives or something like that. Alright. Now we have swimming. I also did not explain this one. This is Fire Wario. You can tell, because the fire also works in the water. Makes perfect sense. Anyway... Fire Wario is simple. Press B, and you can... Uh, well, you saw. 
Uh, that will make that power will make me Horn Warrior once again, which I'm not gonna pick it up. This is a checkpoint. Pay 10 coins, and if you die, you go back there, which I'm not gonna pay the 10 coins because, well, why would I? We actually skipped this area before because we went to that door, which I do believe in this area if I can find it. I think it's in this box. Yes, this is Jet Wario, my favorite form. Because his running speed is faster, and look at his dash. Not only is, do you go so far, but you can do that while in midair, which you normally can't do. It is so handy. And it's one of the best power-ups in this game. And make it's what makes this game ridiculously easy. There's actually nothing up here. I just felt like showing it off, because why not? So now I can first just mad dash through this through this game, at least until I take a hit, then I'm gonna have to get Jet Wario back. But that's the end of the stage now. And now we can play another game. Uh, let's choose this one. God dang it. Alright, let's choose this one. God dang it. Well, pfft, I've got nothing to lose. Oh. Son of a, son of a gun. I got a whopping two coins! I should probably also show off that other minigame I'll show it at the end of the next stage. It's a minigame for lives, so for that reason I'm probably not going to be playing it that much. Course three. So here we have what I assume is supposed to be quicksand. Oh god. And this is also why I love Jet Wario so much. Such a good power. And you might notice we can go down here. So why don't we go down here? We have an area with some money. This jackass, who is now dead. Born Wario, which I don't care about, because Jet Wario is all I need. And we can get more money up here. As for what we skip by by going down there, over here, we can go in here, and I bump my mic again, and there is a checkpoint. So, nothing too terribly major. Let's keep moving. Grab that money. As for what is down here, since I just skipped past it. There's a heart. And a power. By the way, what's nice is anything you get from these boxes, besides coins, will not disappear. It'll stay there forever until you pick it up. Which is very nice. So if you see a power-up that you might want to get later, but you don't want to get it just yet, you can just leave it there and come back for it. Alright, we're right near the end of the stage, though. So, what I should show off, though, is if you can... Here we go. You can get up here, and there's actually a hidden, a hidden exit over there. You might have noticed that the dot representing this map looked different than it usually is. That's because this put this level has a hidden exit. But I'm not gonna take it just yet. I'm gonna show it when we're actually supposed to get it. So let's show off this minigame. game. I'll pick B course. So we have a bomb throwing mini game. Oh shoot, I forgot these guys move pretty fast. Oh. That's right, they cycle through. Wow! That was... that was terrible. I gotta stab up my game. Oh, come on! Now, that was too early. Ugh. I am just... all out of it. 
I got one. Yay. I got 50 hearts from that. You can see what the scoreboard is. And I got a whopping seven coins. I am just the richest. Alright, course four. Get ready to run, because that thwomp is going to chase after us. And like the jerks they are, these blocks are going to get in our way. So we must destroy them. Destroy, destroy, destroy. There's a heart here if you want it. It doesn't really matter to me, but I might as well pick it up. And now we have to wait here. This is just the most exciting thing we're doing. We have to wait for this thwomp to get here, because normally the thwomp is insta-kill, but if you stand on top of it, it doesn't kill you. So, we need to ride this thing. All the way across this lava, because lava also kills us. And that is lava below us. I also want to get as much money as I can. I'm Mario, I'm greedy. Wahaha. <laughs> it sounded more like Waluigi, but... Oh well. Oh Jesus. It feels weird actually playing this stage with Jet Wario. I'm used to playing it with like... A different form of warrior that isn't quite as fast. In any case, we're almost at the end of the stage. Destroy these blocks. There's another two hearts. One that one, one that block, one this block. But right here is the end of the stage. Let's go over here. Wait for this guy, because if the thwomp stomps on him, not only will we kill him, he'll make the enemy that just got murdered. They'll drop a 10 coin, which is a nice way to make some quick money. Alright, get used to me playing the first minigame, which is this one. Because this is how I'm going to be making a lot of my money, is by gambling. Alright, well we're off to a good start. Uh, let's pick the same bucket. We got another coin bag. Let's switch it up. Yeah, we got 500 coins. 512, I do believe. 512. Which, I will gladly take 512 coins. Just so much money. So much money. Alright. Now we're at the boss stage, though. So, we better step up our game. We're gonna take down this boss. This room, we have more thwomps to get past. Uh, is that? Ah, oh, shoot. I do not want that power up, but I do want this guy's ten coins. So, all right. Let you stomp down. You destroy that. Actually, I should probably get the ten coins from him. There we go. Ten coins. Wait. Destroy. You gotta be patient sometimes. Oh, that was stupid of me. Yeah, at least I got the 10 coins. Yeah, since I never picked up this power, I can pick it up now. Very handy. Very, very handy. There's 9 coins here, but whether you want to get them or not, that's kind of up to you. I don't think it's worth the risk, personally, but you might think it's worth the risk. There's another 10 coins, though. There we go. 
Alright, now we need to get through here. These little spike things are going to go around the perimeter, so you have to avoid them. There's a checkpoint there, which I will not take. These guys are a bit annoying, because they will throw these things at you, which... Oh, come on! Alright, might as well take these two guys down. Take them down to Chinatown. Because... Alright, get myself powered up again. Alright. Hit that. And now we can get these three blocks. They all contain hearts, but it's still nice to get them. Kill you. And now it's boss time. This boss is super easy, though. You wanna know how you win this? Dash into him. Get the bottom of him, dash into it again, you're done. It really does not take much doing at all. It's a lot more difficult when you're Tiny Wario, and you when you're Tiny Wario, and you, you can't take a single hit, and you, need, you can only hit him from the bottom. But in any case, he is still super easy. Which I guess makes sense, since one well, was the first boss. Let's gamble some more! Alright, well that's a good start. Alright, if I can get another one, I'm just gonna end the there. Ooh, yes. I'm gonna I'm just gonna run with the money I have now. Is this puts up to like 600, 700? About 600? 700 even, yeah. So I might as well just exit now. Just in case I were to get a weight, and then I just lose half my money. I would hate for that to happen. But that's the end of the first world. But we still have a few things that we can do in the first world. So we're gonna have to go look look at what we can do. Once I get my money. And we have also start up Mount Teapots, which we'll be coming back to. For now, there's two stages that are changed now the tides come in, as you can see, the tide has come in. First is Course 1. Course 1, well, not only do you have the waters come in, there's a few more areas we can access. I also really like the sweet music that plays during this area. I'll let you listen for yourself. I really do like this song, it's so relaxing. And we get to hear a lot more in the second world. I think it's in the first stage of the second world, and the second stage of the second world. Uh... The one thing I don't like about the second world is it also has one of my least favorite tracks in this game. Well... And it's actually in stage... 9 and 10. One of my least favorite tracks, but... Eh. Also, that guy is no longer gonna pay for it, so we have to pay for our own door. Meh. Alright. Well... I'm not gonna waste time. I'm just gonna go to the goal, because... I s I do have, like, the... Money that I can get... I can double my money, but it's so little that it may not even be worth it. Let's just move on to course 3. Which, once again, has this awesome music. But it has nothing else of interest. It has this door. What that door is, well, we'll come back to that. In fact, it 
what we need to do shall be shown momentarily. This block, if you were to hit that block before, it would not have a key. Now it does have a key. Key opens door. Doors are made to go in. Inside door is a treasure chest. In treasure chest is a treasure. That's how I sum it up. So, uh, now that I've gotten that, I can also... Well, I guess I can also show off the rest of the station and what else has changed, but one thing I should explain is game over. Like in most games, if you lose all your lives, you game over. What happens if you game over? If you have a treasure, you're gonna lose that treasure, and you have to reclaim it. I do believe you can still reclaim it. I game over... I never game over in this game. But I do know about the game over thing and, like, how it works. Back when I still sucked at this game. If you don't have any treasures that you can lose, you just... Then you lose money in your bank. And it's as simple as that. Also, this area now has some water in it. Alright. Let's go ahead and... Nah. Kill you. Kill you. This area has also changed. It's basically the same thing, except it was full of water. Nothing else really to explain here. And this area, once again, filled with water. Which means now we can get up here normally. And over here, a door. And since it's not the door that we were in, what you we went in before. God, I can't talk. We unlock something. What do we unlock? Well, first I'm gonna play a mini game because we at least have a decent amount of money. Well, that's one coin bag. All right, I'm gonna try this one. Yeah, dang it. Fine, fine, fine. Let's try this one. Alright, 66 coins, I will take it. <clears throat> 66 coins is 66 coins, so it's money. And we will be going a bit over on this video, but that's fine. It's the first video, so... A lot of this is just tutorial stuff, mainly. So, we might as well get Horn Wario, because... So, the... One thing I should point out is this is the uh, shortest course in the game. Its sole purpose here is for money grinding. So you, if you didn't notice what I'm doing, these guys, ground pound, kill them, they drop a 10 coin. Along with the coin that you call normally for shoulder charging them. So you get 11 coins for each of those guys that you kill. You can get a ton of parts, you can get a ton of money normally, and you should come out with 80 coins. Pretty sure that's, that's how much you should come out with anyways. One of the best stages for money grinding, really. Most secret stages actually do have a treasure. Not this one. I think it's the only secret stage that doesn't have a treasure. Oh, come on. Which means I'm gonna screw up this minigame. Yep. Let's try this one. Yep, this this great stage for grinding money, and I got ten coins on it. Way to go, me. You're actually intended to get a lot more money. I'm just that's just me being unlucky. But that about does it for World One. Next time on Wario Land, we will be starting World Two, Mount Teapot. See you guys then. Thank <laughs> you.